In other news tonight, a judge has delayed the sentencing of Buffalo's former strategic planner who stole from taxpayers. Timothy Wanamaker would have learned his punishment for a federal corruption charge today. Tonight, we're asking why sentencing has taken more than a year. News 4's Rich Newberg is pressing for answers tonight. Rich? Diana, the U.S. Attorney's Office now says Tim Wanamaker did cooperate with federal investigators and deserves a sentence that could mean no jail time. Federal Judge Richard Arcaro wants more evidence before passing sentence. Tim Wanamaker, Buffalo's former head of strategic economic planning, will have to wait until mid-December to find out if he's going to jail. He is now selling cars in Virginia, we're told by his attorney, after pleading guilty to charging about $30,000 in personal expenses to one of Buffalo's city credit cards. In fact, he feels horrible about what he did because he violated his, his, uh, his duty of, of public trust, not only to, uh, to HUD, but also to the to the people in Buffalo and he, he feels terrible about it. Wanamaker had admitted to stealing the money from the Buffalo Economic Renaissance Corporation for unauthorized travel expenses. The money was supposed to be used to fight poverty. At first, federal investigators said he wasn't cooperating with them, but now they have reconsidered. The U.S. Attorney's Office is now telling Judge Arcara that Tim Wanamaker made two trips to Buffalo at his own expense to meet with agents of the FBI. HUD investigators also learned from Wanamaker how a lack of controls allowed federal money to be funneled to different departments within Buffalo City Hall and potentially misappropriated. As information he's provided to them, they have changed some of their procedures and things are, uh, are better regulated at this point. HUD now considers Buffalo a high-risk grantee and insists that federal HUD funds now go through the city comptroller's office for distribution. It's going to give the controller a great deal more oversight of how this money is spent and where is it going and making sure that all the financial controls are in place. Now, if Judge Richard Arcara can be convinced that Wanamaker's cooperation really did make a difference, he could spare the former Buffalo official jail time.